There's a saying in a ministry to young people that goes like this. You have to earn the right to be heard. If Christians aren't living in ways that promote the wholeness and flourishing of all people, then how can we expect people to listen when we say we have good news to share? The truth is justice is vital to our witness. That being said, justice is also vital to Christian life for its own sake. We believe that God created and loves the world as one who created this world, it grieves him when his creation is broken, polluted, distorted, divided, and defaced. As one who created human beings in his own image, it angers God when people are treated without dignity or some people's lives are considered more important than others. As the prophet Micah says, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. So what exactly is justice? Mm. Well, nothing could describe it better than the Hebrew word shalom. Shalom literally means peace, but it is not simply a lack of tension. It's the positive flourishing of all people and all creation. Shalom is everything and everyone living in harmonious unity with each other. It's the universe working the way it was intended to. Today, the word justice is often used synonymously with the word equity. And justice is definitely not less than that, but also much more. For example, if we equally lived in poverty or sickness, a Christian vision of justice would demand we do something about it. Equity is absolutely crucial for flourishing to become a reality for every person who God loves. But it's not the only aspect of justice we care about. For example, we believe that caring for creation is an issue of justice, mm. not only because it impacts people inequitably, and that certainly adds a layer of importance, but also because God created and loves the earth itself. So what do we do about it? Obviously, we can't tackle every injustice in the world or even in our city as a church. And as an individual, you certainly can't stay informed or engaged on every developing injustice. The good news is that the church is bigger than our church mm. and that people are pursuing justice around the world. It's not just our responsibility. But it is our responsibility to engage where we are. Hmm. Ask yourself, where has God placed me? What situations have happened to me or around me that stir me to pursue justice? Where is God calling me to put my energies for the sake of others flourishing? Once you've identified an area of passion or importance, pray about what levels you are called to get involved in. You can pursue shalom in at least four different ways. Awareness, relief, development, and advocacy. Awareness is simply educating yourself and others about the depth and complexity of the problem. Read books and articles. Listen to podcasts. Gather a learning group to dig deeper into the issue together. Consider ways you can introduce the facts to your friends, family, and neighbors. Relief is the work of meeting the immediate need. You might chop carrots at a soup kitchen or donate clothes or food to those in need. At our church, for example, when we pack Thanksgiving boxes for underserved families, we are engaging in the relief work of justice. Development is the work of empowering communities to provide and maintain their own resources for a flourishing life. Building a house is relief. Finding some local entrepreneurs and helping them start a construction company in a part of the world where houses and jobs are desperately needed is development. Right. Development work at its best comes from within the community's own sense of needs, assets, resources, and giftedness. This type of justice work seeks change from the bottom up. Finally, advocacy is speaking up to the powers that be about an injustice facing the community with the intent of changing the system and its perpetuating injustice. Mm -hmm. Though it often starts with a grassroots movement, Advocacy seeks to change from the top down mm. through local officials, legislations, judicial decisions, and policy changes. There are Christians who are called to each layer of justice work. What issue is God calling you to engage with? 
and what level? If you're not already sure, we'd encourage you to take the first step and pray about it. Today is always the best day to start pursuing God's shalom.